Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Boundless video. This is not gonna be a regular Boundless video as you used to, but uh, yeah, a bit of a... Yeah, bad news, really. Um, lately, we don't have enough players in Boundless anymore. It is really, really getting low on the numbers. More and more people are disappearing. They don't play anymore, they don't come back. They let everything go. Portals close, buildings are gone, planets are gone. It is crazy. We only have a handful of people now still playing the game and it's just a matter of time before it all goes downhill. Really bad. And I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you with the Steam chart. And as you can see, 38 players right now for an MMO worldwide. 38 players right now. As you see in the last three years, which is the graphic here, it's all going downhill. Down, 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 down. And 38 players is just not enough. It's not enough. I've been promoting this game for about six years now. Over six years since I've played the game. Since I've been playing the game. And no more. I'm not going to promote a dead game anymore. I mean, nothing is done about it. No advertising, nothing whatsoever. And now I can hear you say, oh yeah, but that's only Steam charts, right? No PlayStation numbers in there. Well, as you can see here, there is a forum member called Xyberviri. And he made a PowerShell script, as you can see right here. You can look at him up in the forums. Just type in his name and you will find the script. You can look at it for yourself. And it says, since it's a query against the server itself, it includes PSN players. He ran it. As you can see, um, and it says 51 players across 313 public planets. Crazy. Very, very crazy. But now at least we have a tool that includes PlayStation numbers together with PC numbers. Because we already knew the PC numbers were low, but they always said, oh yeah, but the PSN numbers are way higher, blah, blah, blah. We have several hundreds of players. No, we don't. We don't. So I've been running this script since the 20th of December. 23, as you can see here. Every day, sometimes multiple times a day. And as you see, 55 players, 55, 56, 65, 66, and so on. 33, 45, 66 on the 6th of January. 31, 33, 28, 25 on the 11th of January. 25 only. And as you see now, 48. Last moment. I will keep on running the script to see more or less what the average is. But average now is 51 players a day. 51 players a day. That is not enough. And as you see, 292 planets. Which has gone down drastically as well. I mean, you cannot keep those servers running with only a player base of 48 players, right, a day? That's just crazy. What also does not help is that Monumental, who took over Boundless, is not communicating with us at all. They don't tell us where Boundless is going, there's no updates about the game, there's no updates about information on the game, there's no roadmap. Nothing. And if you ask them, you always get the same answer back. Oh, we're in transition, transition, transition. We have no more information. You have to be patient. It's been over a year and a few months now. And still no information. People stop paying for Gleam Club because they say, well, if the team is not working, there's no team yet, right? If they don't develop the game, then why should we support the game? And they're right. So now they miss out on money from Gleam Club members as well. A lot of the players at the Knowing Game have stopped playing the game. It is terrible and I care for this game because I, I still think Boundless is a good game. It's just monumental not doing anything with the game. It's dumb. It is very dumb. Also what bothers me uh, is that for over a year they have this game right now because they they acquired it um, I will show a screenshot when they acquired it 
you can see for yourself right there but the strange thing is and I'm gonna show you right now is this look this is their website right it says our games as you see below it says copyright 2024 so they've updated the website but they talk about Crownfall, Mythgard, Little Alchemist, Storm Wars and whatever the other one is there's no boundless on their website why not why not I don't get it and it says Crownfall is there but I've heard that Crownfall has been offline for a long 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 time already which is true and you can see it here a press release monumental acquires Crownfall and as you see Austin Texas December 17th 21 Monumental today announced the acquisition of Crownfall. You can pause this and just read it yourself if you want to. As you see here, as a backer, blah blah blah, said Monty Kerr. And Monty is the one that is the CEO of Monumental buying these games and then does nothing with it. God knows why. But hey, they bought it December 17th, right? 21. Crownfall. And then this. Look at that. Crownfall is offline. And this is the information that was put up on the website on Monday, November the 7th, 2022. The game is still offline. No crownfall. They took the forums away so nobody could ask any questions. And they say we'll share the plan when the community with the community as it shapes up. Nothing. Nothing. If this is the future for Boundless, right? You're going to have the game offline for over a year. You will lose everybody. The people that leave the game are not going to come back. At all. So, Crownfall is dead, right? And now Boundless next? I don't know. What is Monumental doing? So, I looked at Steam. I clicked on Monumental and it says they have Mythgard and Boundless. Okay, well, let's click on Mythgard. And see the Steam charge for Myth <laughs> Mythcard, and as you see, 19 players online. 24 hour peak, 20 people. What the heck? So Mythcard is not doing very well, is it? How is Monumental earning money, right? So I have my deepest concerns about the future of Boundless, and no information whatsoever and then you see Monty and and Tix, Tix is the community community manager but nothing always the same answer from Tix no no we have no information yet you have to be patient we're in transition transition always the same story and I don't buy that people leave because people do not get information keep us informed at least with something right James at least always said that if for any reason the servers need to go offline completely then we will tell you one year up front. I've asked Tiggs on the forums how many months up front when the boundless servers go offline will we be informed. That topic was instantly closed, archived, gone, out of sight. Why? What do they have to hide? What's going on here? Right? So if you ask Monty anything on, on Discord, because on the official Boundless Discord server you see Monty most of the time there, also Tix most of the time there, with Tix you always get the same answer, Monty does not even answer. So you get no reply whatsoever, right? So Discord is for text messages and for voice, and he doesn't do either. So how rude, how rude, then why are you there? Then don't be on Discord if you don't communicate. Jeez. So I will show you this. Monty, in the very beginning when he acquired the game, yeah, he was a few times on the forums, and now his last activity was November the 8th, 2022, on the Boundless forums, and we haven't seen him since. Terrible. So, with all these changes in the community, not with the game, in the community, I think it's a sinking ship. 
sinking ship. And people are abandoning it. There's only a few people playing. There's a, a few uh, numbers there as well that are just AFK on Feather Falls. Just standing there. Well, they are counted as an active player online, right? So, but they're not. It's just AFK 24-7. They stand, they're standing there 24-7, week in, week out, every, every single day. Just terrible. So those numbers don't count, in my opinion. I'm talking about active players. So it's even less. It's just crazy. I wish they would release own hosted servers, the last update for Boundless. Then I can set up my own servers and be happy. But this is crazy. I will keep playing Boundless, but I will no longer promote Boundless. So this is the very last video that you will see on my channel on Boundless. Unless, unless a miracle happens and something positive Um I can tell you about Boundless and then I'll make a new video. All the other people have stopped making videos, like Jivita and all the, well, more popular um, YouTubers. So no, I have no faith in, uh, in the future of Boundless and I think uh, it will stop very, very, very soon. I know people will tell me, oh yeah, but we thought that before, it was dying, it was dying and it's still online. Yeah, but then we had more numbers, right? More more players. This is the absolute minimum. When are they going to switch off the servers? When we have 20 people online? 30 people? 10? I just don't get it. Or is Monumental keep the servers running and, and then watch the, the, the player base go down to zero? Well done. Well done, Monumental. The only thing Monumental is doing so far is what I can find is buy games and switch them off. And I hope that's not the case, but so far I haven't seen anything else yet. Oh well. I think that's going to be the end of Boundless. So yeah, thank you for watching this quite negative video on Boundless. Um, but yeah, that's all I have. Have a nice day. Bye.